And you, Helen. Can the loose strife make us a home? Can the skylark, stuttering, sing and be known to us? Can the bee, creaturely, dodging the breeze? Can the dragonfly with her wings of glass? Can the bitter leaf and sweet grasses, grass seeds, meadow sweet and chickweed? Can the ants and woodlice, wind-blown burrs? Can the spider, assembling herself, pour threads of silver one to another? Can celandine, catkins and orchard bound in mistletoe? Can the moth, alert at our edges? Can a butterfly, rising and gliding in the powdery nettle beds? Can the shadow of the oak tree casting itself from green to black. Even as the sky darkens, can the hare, stilled at the field's edge, nervy, watching, bring us an answer? I answer yes, and love hunkers down, shows us her great mercy. At first she sees nothing, Darkness robs at her, star-blasted, dream-filled, knocking her sideways from love out of sleep. None of this knows itself, slow, forming. Now it is morning, and so there's a shift, when dark is an opening, a heartbeat on darkness, pulse, pulse. This is her mind, connecting with feeling, with thought, with a memory, memory of thought. Loose strife, nettles. She fumbles in spaces, can sense in the half-light the breath of her children. Her body takes root, her body takes hold. Roses blacken in a jug at the bedside, ash in the grate remembers its fire. Now it is morning, Yet still there is nothing, nothing, but a space beside her, nothing but a space inside. The oak tree knows the field, the bend of its shadow to the grass. It knows the sun's path, Passage of blackcap, starling, rook. How to clutch a song and nest it in leaf. It knows the ant that labours up grass blades, a stag beetle glinting, passage of worms. The tree surrenders, its shadow to shadows. Oak tree and field converse in the shadow grass. Here is how shadows bend, here is where birds rise, birds rise up. Had the night known itself, darkness, it would have opened wide its mouth, afraid. Two men walk across the field, her heart's beat like a mist step. August wears ghost selves, and the shadow of one keeps on walking into shadow while the shadow of one lies down. Pause. Moth flutter, like shadow broken loose, carving grey in the moonlight. First you hear rain, then you imagine it, seeing how rain might drum at its brokenness, drums inside. A man feels the dark field singing through his bones. She feels it too, rain singing, love singing. Here now are its broken lines. Here, in a heartbeat, the white explosion. A 
a body lies, thickening with mud. And the dead who are long gone open up their mouths. The rain, the field, every small thing it owns. Where he is, stumbles, although she can imagine him, pulls lovingly a thread, his voice, silence, breaks in the listening, widens, stretches. A hair quivers like an unearthed wire, hush. While the field moves, she's complete in her listening, rain on the roof, makes eaves a dull listening. Then thunder dolls and the sky splits. She's dreaming of journeys and trains through the darkness. Elder, dogwood, flaming maple, pulls at a thread. As this old tin bowl holds water for washing, it holds to the memory of water as her body holds the memory of, she holds too. As a gun holds the memory of its firing, as the earth soaks up water, sends it skyward, as the skylark, as the fieldfare, sparrow, black cap, rook, as her body holds his body, as their slow, deep movements, he holds too. As milk burns in the breast, remembering the tug of, as their bodies are a bridge and children call to her out of their sleep, as her collarbone, as her pelvic bone, as her everything holds, as the horses, as the, as the, as she wakes from a dream, as shrapnel, as mud. Where she is, stumbles. Her fingers move to the edges of her body, negotiate the space at her clavicle. She holds the full weight of her breast in her hands. She cannot feel much more than this. When she wakes, she reaches for the space, is it always like this? Each step, each step, as if each bare foot on the wooden stairs might suddenly explode. So field edge touches sky edge. So a pair of sparrows squabble in the corn stooks. Somewhere between the greying field and the dusk dark, between grass song, her whisperings and tree song, the talking of the leaves, a body hangs in a moment. Here is the moment between living and dying, the space beyond and the space inside. She stretches out her limbs and there is a conversation taking place, the space beyond, the space inside. Does the breeze pull a thread of hair across a brow? Does the movement of the blood around the body, stoppered by the earth's stop, run to a halt? Do the lungs expand after death to this? And is silence then its own sound? Does she wait now for an exhalation? Does a wheeze of breath come at the very end, overdue? Does a wren Caught beneath a hedgerow, suddenly appear. Fieldfare, sparrow, rook. There's blood at the throat. Whose throat? His body is perfect. Only his heart, as if caught in the split of a second, catching its breath. He gives her a look. Pause. The skies light up. Is this the way she might imagine him? Poem's feather in his pocket. Birdsong. Here is the stillness of Robin or Redstart called palely to his palm.
the memory of a memory. That last night returns to her, fragments melting in nudges of firelight. His hand touches without somehow touching any human part of her. It is like this, this slow, gorgeous climbing and gathering, this entering, this being inside. White clover, yellow bed straw, milk wort. She drops a glass, and now her face, as if something at her heart had spilled, or the crack, singing like an ice flow in the darkness, widens, holds. What she holds, she holds for their children. But now there is breakage, the terrible shifting ocean of herself let out. Loose strife, nettles. She'd unbuttoned her blouse, letting her clothes fall loose to the waist, then pull in a circle, shoulder straps, underclothes. She makes his body as she guides his hands a poem. The sun a covering, the sky a covering, their two bodies in one movement, a poem in the grass. She remembers the day he turned tight on his heel, took a gun in his hand to walk out to the woods. The children's eyes blackened like wounds in the darkness, and her own heart split. She wonders at the fury of endurance. Where to place love? Sinew, curve, edge, vein. Love cooks, digs, sews, binds, smooths, irons, cleans, wrenching from tiredness, dirt, a tenderness. When they lie together in the night, it is something like this. Pulse. Rain furies, dances, sings. If he sees the world through her eyes, then she sees the world through his. He has gathered her up in his old great coat. Can he carry her, she wonders, like the girl she was, in his officer's coat with his freshly razored hair? Mosses grow on the furzy green. Her red dress tears like a wound in a wound. He has gathered her up and will sing to her under the shadow of the deep-breasted oak. Listen. This is the sound of his tread on the stairs. He has gathered her up. My arm in yours, my hand in your pocket. You must walk, he laughs, with her hand in his pocket, as if in your dreams. And the dead who are long gone open up their mouths. Let us open up our lips. Let us show forth our star-blasted, dream-filled, White clover, yellow bed straw, milk wort. She opens her mouth to a dark field. She opens her mouth to a thousand leaves. She walks now in its shadow. Nettles, meadow grass. All now that has travelled between them. Sweat, semen, blood, milk tears. Leaf shadow touches grass shadow. A child mutters in the breakages of sleep. First you hear rain and then you imagine it. She dances with him. Leaf shadow touches grass shadow. And you, Helen. She begins. When I walk, I walk with the white shock of an explosion. When I love, when I walk, I walk with their clean white bones.